good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, whatever time it is for you. It is morning and a beautiful Saturday here in my garage, and thank you for joining me. Today, I have a very exciting episode because I am doing radiator cleaner battle royale. Basically, I'm going to empty out the coolant, get a sample, throw in some Blue Devil. This is supposed to be really good stuff. A lot of people highly recommend it. Clean out my system, get a sample, and put in some of my favorite cleaner, Liquid Mole Radiator Cleaner. Get a sample and see how many times I need to flush before I'm running out clean of my radiator. So I get some content, I get a clean radiator, and I get to work in my garage and have some fun. Yes! So let's get to it and start sampling, start flushing for the Super Flush Battle Royale. So the first step is draining out the oil coolant and I have a catch pan right here, my one I use for my oil. That way I can catch it and recycle it and I'm not dumping it into the environment. So there's going to be a pet cock that I'm being able to open up and drain out the oil coolant. And there it goes. Now from here, I'll go up top to the degassing bottle, fill it with water, and let the pretty much water run through it so I can clean all the gunk out. So it's draining at the bottom. I got my degasser, my tank right here. And all I'm doing is letting the water drain out from over there and have it be inputted into here. That way it's going to cycle through and get most of the gunk out before I put in the flush. So the drain is closed. I have water in the system. First flush is going to be the Blue Devil. I'm going to put this in and let it idle for about 10 minutes and see what kind of results I get. Be able to drain it out and see what it looks like. So first in, Blue Devil. Now the biggest thing while I'm waiting for this to get up to temperature is I want to make sure I keep an eye on that uh, degassing bottle to make sure it doesn't get too low because there was some water in it but I don't know if there was any air pockets. So I'm going to keep a good eye on it until it's at a good operating temperature and then I'll be able to kind of not just pay attention to it as much and just rev it a couple times to make sure everything's cycling through and it's getting that awesome cleaning power that I'm testing. Next, I'm going to actually do the flush of the, uh, the engine. Right now I had the and to flush the chemical running through and breaking up all that dirt, sediment, whatever was inside of the engine. Now I'm going to go over to the passenger side on this side, one of those sides. I'm going to or open the petcock and have the dirty stuff flowing out. And on the driver's side, I'm going to empty the degas bottle. I'm going to have clean water going in. That way it's going to flush everything out that I've broken loose. And we're back for flush number two. Water flush number two, I should say. Liquid mole. Liquid Mole, however you want to pronounce it, has run through the system for about 10 minutes. I let it cool down because, of course, I've been running this thing for about half an hour now. So I don't want to burn myself. So I'm going to open up the pet cup. I'm going to have water uh, running through on this side and the, to the degas bottle. And I'm going to have the engine running on idle for about another couple minutes until it starts running clear again. And then it should be done. Now that the flush is complete, all I need to do is add more coolant. Can't forget about that. So I checked my owner's manual, found out exactly the type I need, and I have concentrate right here because I have a whole bunch of water in my block. So I'm gonna do about 70% of concentrate, and then I'll do about 30% of 50-50, and that should round it out to about 50-50% for my system. Well, with this I need to do is add it in, I'll start the vehicle, and I'll keep a very close eye on my temperature, and also on the level, and just kind of top it off when it needs it, and drive it around to make sure I don't have any air pockets, and I should be good to go. And the results are in. So let's go through. We got number one. This is what it looked like when I emptied out the coolant and I put in the Blue Devil. Ran it for 10 minutes, 
This is what came out when I first started the flush. Then I ran the water through, and this is what came out. Pretty clear. So you think, yeah, looks like a pretty clean system. But wait, flush number two. Threw in the liquid mole, and of course, it got some out. A little bit finer, and I ended up with water in the end. Very clear. Are the results? What do you think? I'm not 100% sure. It definitely did clear out my, you know, my system. Put in the liquid mole, and I did get a little bit. Is this enough to warrant another flush? You're going to have to answer that in the comments below. And I got a clean system again. So, results are in. This is what it looks like. You make the decision. So, Blue Devil did a pretty good job. Liquid Mole did a pretty good job too of getting those extras. And with that, as always, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, thank you very much. I appreciate everything you guys do from the bottom of my heart. And I always say, and I mean it, ride safe, drive safe, and keep at least two wheels on the road.